today I've finished so rare and I'm using the um shame Carol's not here the St Petersburg paints I thought oh well I've got more fun to play with let's have a look here see what we can see oh yeah I've had these things that I did ages ago set on the side so I had a plan with them. Right, it's probably have to zoom out. Oh, which one's the zoom is this one? Not too bad. You see most of it, can't we? It looks frozen. <laughs> is what? He looks as if he's frozen in ice. Oh, because I <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Carol's not here, so I put some masking fluid around it, and I've also um cut some I won't put it off because it's sort of it's um detail paper so I sketched around it and I cut it out and stuck it in the middle when well, I'm not stuck it it just sort of clings it sort of when it's not moving because it's on the the masking fluid well most of it oh yeah all clings to it it's quite clever by default in design. Now I've said it, it's decided to come off. Um, the only reason I wanted to do it was um, we don't want all these. I've got all these bits of pastel in here. The plan was <laughs> since Christmas was just to um, let me get all the bits out. I wanted to do sponges. I'll lay it flat for a sec. Maybe. Nah, what the heck? Was to tip it out. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, it's all just gone all over the flipping. What's name? In the, in the middle bit, I didn't want it. That. Oh, well, you can lift your bit of paper out and tip it off. I might just, I just, I should be able to do it just by um. What's name? Get your hair dryer. Yeah, um, no, I didn't really want it to go all over the room. <laughs> Flipping stuff, it, 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 you'd end up breathing it in, wouldn't you? But we could get a really soft brush, I suppose. Spray it. That's what I'm, that was the plan. Ah. I've finished. What I want to do is just get a load of it, sprinkle it all over the place. If I hold on to the paper, it will just move anyway. So, yeah, you've spotted my secret Santa mistake. Yeah, because I've got all these different colours, am I? So, yeah. Well, he dares. And I did say, I don't care. <laughs> well, I sort of. I do care. But I don't. I'm not going to muck about it. See what happens. So I've got some lovely yellow. Oh, look, you can use your hands and just crinkle it because it's oh, maybe not some of it. The round stuff you can, but those square bits <laughs> they rock hard, they're not moving anywhere. Try and get them in your fingers. Yellow's good though, isn't it? A bit bright. This is going to be a, a right on bit of dude. Try to give it some randomness. But of course, when I spray it, it's going to go mad, isn't it? So let's keep it out of there. <gasps> my thing moved. My bit of paper and my hands are covered in. <laughs> oh. It's like you're in play school. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Art is a bit like that, isn't it? Yeah. I can get the, the bits out of the out of me robin. I didn't want to get me robin. <laughs> I was just being scroogey, yeah. tight, 
thinking well <laughs> that I won't waste too much of the masking fluid. Are you ready for this then? <laughs> As he gulps. Here we go. I'm oh, gonna <laughs> Well, I'll have to spray it now, don't I? There's only way I'm going to get it off. I've only got the little spray gun. I, better, I think I better use the big one. I've got a, a litre doodle one here. Threaten that out spray. It's quite nice. This will tell them why. Thinking Christmas. Well, it worked on some things. I hope you're not expecting us all to do this, though. <laughs> Mother of invention. Comes under do as I say, not do as I do. Yeah, <laughs> I think maybe that's the best way. Well, no, you can invent your own variation of the theme. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Not any broken pastels anyway. I, I don't know where I got mine. People give them to me quite often. I haven't got one. Just debating whether to use the hairdryer. I think I might have, <laughs> might have bitten off more than I could chew here. Yeah, might have a dust storm. <laughs> well, I've got tissue, so I've got so much water on it. Mm. I could spread spread the news, the good news. I wanted it to look real. Um, <laughs> interesting. I mean, no, I don't. I think real is a misword. That's a misword. That's not the right word. No. no Definitely mis- interesting. Yeah, it does look really good, actually. It does at the moment. Well, yeah. As soon as well, I. We hear judgment. Yes. Um, like the only problem I've got well <laughs> I'm going to have to resolve I'm going to put the kettle on if I was you <laughs> <laughs> I can't see this drying in five in a few minutes you know, but you put your hair time. dryer on really low stand away from it it might Turn back to dust, was it? I think low is faster than this one. <laughs> Bye. Told you that paper wasn't up to it. Oh my gosh, look at that one. Mm. Got a little here. Well, I take it all back, Dave. That's looking good. <laughs> Where's it going to go when it's dry, though? It's got to be dust. Well, it's dry enough. I'll be able to put the dryer up a bit more. It's getting there. Mm-hmm. And tip it on its side and it'll all fall off. <laughs> it's blowing away now. I keep saying I'll get my pastels out. I've always them. said the reason I last time was the robin was always the final picture of the
and you are here beyond this, you try and incorporate some of the things that you've learned or my case invented during the year. That's the, the whole thing about the robin. So every year they keep slightly different because they reflect something that I've It's a bit like watching paint dry. Dyson. Yeah. Oh, we're coming through, are we? You didn't know. Oh, yes. Oh, Dyson. Needs... <laughs> Dyson. Yeah. No, he's got yappy lately. I'm glad it's Dyson and not Frodo. <laughs> he would have grown a lot. <laughs> Still haven't seen Frodo. No. I know. Dave's going to get him later on. Oh, is it? He said that last week. Yeah, I know. We're not gonna we're not gonna let him go until he does. No, that's true. It's Probably good to he talk about Dave while he's doing the hair dryer, and he, I don't expect he can hear us. I bet he can. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. <laughs> there is a very nice big problem. There's yeah. a snowball. It looks like a black hole now, or a white hole. Yeah, or a snowball. Face all around it. That's a very nice effect, though. I'm not. I was just thinking some of the some of the um let's see what it looks like if I change that. That's more like it actually is actually. That's better. Is it? Yeah. Mm. It's not Namby Pamby faint, it's quite strong. Oh right. That's pretty close. Yeah. Well I'm seeing I've said this before, sometimes when I'm doing this. The picture you're looking at is different to the one I'm painting. Yeah. They are yeah. when you send them to you. The yeah. picture we send to you isn't quite the same as we've got at home. No, that's true. Anyway. Well, it kind of took me breath away there a bit. Mm -hmm. I think it did. All that dust flying around. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> he looks like I... he's had an electric shock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably has. <there. laughs> That's good though. Oh. I like it. Interesting. Yeah. Bit of clean water. I think I'll um only problem is I've no, not a problem, I don't care anyway. I've lost a lot of my pencil lines, so that 
<laughs> I don't quite know what's going to happen about the legs. I don't. But I say, I think if um, I did mention at the start that this um, paper is definitely out to get me by hook or by crook. Now, just because I put it in here. Two secs. I've got a little, got a little drawer now with um, tubes of white paint in. White um, watercolour paint. So I'm just going to Do the background of the robin with watercolour white. Great for you, Chris. Hmm. Just start, well, what do you do? Do you start off, do you paint the white bits first or would you? No, yeah, the opposite. Yeah, so that's a... Opposite to watercolour. I don't... Yeah, even in acrylics, I tend to do um, paint it white first. <laughs> so I'm stuck with that one. Mm. I'm only yeah. doing this here to give it um, a ground, really. Because I say that paper is a bit. Well, this paper is, I don't know what. But Scroogey Dave, I'm not throwing it away. <laughs> it's only paint, isn't it? And, uh, I noticed an argument, well, not an argument, a discussion. Um, on a Facebook group the other day, somebody had put, um, I think they were pastels, actually, that they, she was saying, or the he, you know, 30 quid, or do you do a portrait for you in pastels and that? Mm -hmm. And it had some examples of, like, <laughs> Clint Eastwood was one. Oh, I saw that one. You're, yeah. Uh, and Not very impressed. Well, no, the <laughs> pictures weren't a bit, but there was the argument about the, um, the copyright thing. Some people were saying on one, I think it was on the Bournemouth one, you know, there's a copyright. Well, Gail Breezy B was on there. And Gail does, she paints those sort of movie star paintings all the time, usually quite often in black and white, you know, sort of negative yeah. images now. And she said something you have to check out. Before you make a comment, you, have to, you ought to suss out what UK copyright law is and didn't actually resolve it. And I was thinking about it after, I said, well, OK, how do you not use an image that you didn't create to do a portrait of someone that's relatively famous? It's practically mm -hmm. impossible. Yeah. So I would, my argument would be, just do, just do it. There's, there's no way that you could get. A, I mean, you can't go to Los Angeles and get a picture of Clint Eastwood, can you? I mean, it's absolutely stupid. You'd probably get arrested if you went round his house. <laughs> so here, mush. Can you just hang on a minute? Or and I, if anyone owns the copyright to the picture, it's him. It's yeah. to the photograph. It's his, it's his image and you're in, in a photograph. You've got to pay him for that. If you're making money out of his image, surely you should be paying him a fee. Does that make sense? It's his image. Yes, yes Dave. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I've got something right today. <laughs> I'm not necessarily right I'm just agreeing with you you could be wrong as well that, um, that lady that posted the 
pictures. Um, wouldn't it? Her husband had done it. Yeah, um, that was it. Because she was suggesting she did portraits, family portraits, weren't she? I think she was. They were just examples. Yeah. Of the standard of work. Yeah, I, I don't think it's not easy to sell those sort of things at the best of time. No. I've I've put things up there for sale occasionally and just for a laugh they don't even get nobody even says anything, don't even get noticed. Especially the Robins, I think last year I put cut or two years ago now, wasn't it? I had Robins up there. Nothing mm. came of it. So don't get excited about that. You ain't gonna sell nothing anyway. This will tell him why. Trish. Right. I'm thinking Rock and Robin. <laughs> well, I've been. Because I, I I grab Frodo every morning and take him, you know, back. I don't know, any time between sort of, I don't know, quarter past, well, half six and seven, quarter past seven. And then I, I go in and I deliberately start singing well, this morning it was it was mistletoe and wine this morning because I know poor old Mel's going to end up with that tune in her head all day, same as I. Like. <laughs> and it, was it the other day? It was away in a manger, oh, singing to the dog. Christmas. Yeah, I take him out, sing sing to the dog as I take him out. <laughs> I've, I've got a nice little brush here. It's a. Um, Terry Harrison, Golden Detail. Sounds interesting. Hard bit here is going to be um, I've got that St. Petersburg paint set. So I've gone straight back into using the the palette that I had before, the old palette. Can see a foot there, and there's a foot there. Oh, it's not all, all lost, and that comes down there. Yeah, comes across to there. Jubbly, lovely. No, too thick. No. Oh, I just wanted to find it. Find his leg. Last thing he wants to rob me with no leg. Well, no feet anyway. Yeah, it's coming. Getting too many toes. No, it's the way it is, the, the view. They've only got three. That one, this one, this side is the back. It's got one at the back and it's in shadow. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Or is it? Pigeon <laughs> toe dropping. Yeah. <laughs> I know why. Hang on. That's fine. It's not pigeon toed. Well, what do, you, what do you think? It's a bird. How many toes is it going to have? <laughs> wow. He's standing on a Christmas tree now. Be all right. <laughs> this would tell when, when. Have you noticed that little white Christmas tree just above his head? Where on the background? Oh, <laughs> oh that. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not actually looking at it. I'm just painting it. <laughs> I was wondering that, Dave. That's good. Giving him longer toes. Yeah, I got it wrong. <laughs> well done, mate. And I ain't got a rig around it yet. 
and one you've got to put the claw bit on as well, which yeah. will make it. They do have long toes, really, don't they? They're much bigger. In, well, no, because you've got to put the, the hook bits on, and that changes it completely. Then. Yeah. Well, oh. <laughs> I'm optimistic, I must admit. <laughs> Oh. That's all right. It's um, the dentist. Oh. I recognise the ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the only one I can hear when it's in my hand. Though. Don't get many of them these days, do you? No. Dennis, come here. Well, I'm due. I've got an appointment. Um, when is it? July, July, January the fourth. And I reckon, what are we now? Twentieth December, twenty first September, December. I'm expecting a text any minute to say it's cancelled. <laughs> Uh, that's what they do it sort of gets cancelled for uh, another because I'm NHS oh uh, yeah I think Gordon, so, Gordon said to go private no. oh are you NHS? Yeah. oh he's NHS as well because every time yeah. if there's a there's a what's it called it a bit of a rush on they just they just cancel the NHS appointments. And when I go around there and say that, oh no 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 no, I said, no. I thought, well, who do you think you're talking to, the village <laughs> idiot? Yeah. I was trained by Boris. I know everything. <laughs> I find it. Do you get annoyed with these? That I find it. I don't like talk the COVID bit where they hit. We want clarity. We want clarity. You think, oh, hang on, we know what clarity is. Don't go out if you don't want to catch it. Just stay at home or just avoid everyone. What more clarity do you want than that? And I'm thinking, I can't quite get my head around it. Uh, too many lies at the moment. Too many thick people out there or thick newspaper bloody journalists. They're not really interested in... in the truth they're just interested in the story yeah so, so much of it is is garbage oh god don't know what that was so much of it is just total twaddle this pa this painting i've already decided um later on that i'll as it's dried off, <laughs> it ever dries on this paper. I'll um, use some watercolour pencils on it, just to make put in some fine detail. So I'm already deciding in my mind's eye, in my head, that um, it's not going to be the fancy, loose, free picture that I thought about earlier <laughs> gosh it's terrible I am it's how it changes better put some I think I'm gonna while I've got this color I'm gonna put a layer on there yeah it's just sort of a Burnt sienna, brownie colour, with a bit of, it's just, it's just the colours that we were playing with last week. What colour is grey? Burnt sienna and blue. That'll do. And it's a bit flick it, yep. Yeah. And he got some more of that brown yellow stuff over here. 
No, go on then, I dare you. That was, um, my yellow ran out in my little palette. So <laughs> I had, oh, that would do, Terry Harrison's um, golden yellow, or whatever he calls it, something gold. So I've loaded the palette up with that. This would be nice. Just flick the brush in, see what happens. And then add some of that brainy colour on top of it. Just flick it on. Hope Carol's all right. If you're listening, Carol, hope you're all right. My eyesight's rubbish. I'm frightened to go to to Specsavers. That'd be another argument. <laughs> well, because they want me to use, they always say, they, ter they, they gear you or sway you, try to, into buying their plastic lenses, which are absolute rubbish. Yeah. Plastic lenses are, excuse my word, they're crap. If their plastic was any good, We'd be buying telescopes made out of plastic. You don't buy binoculars with plastic lenses in. Well, you can out of a lucky bag when you're a kid or something. But... <laughs> so my eyes can't be that precious to spec savers if they want me to wear crummy plastic glass. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the only problem is <laughs> there aren't any one... I think they usually end up going online or through their data bank trying to find someone on the planet, <laughs> well, in the EU, as it was, in Europe, local, that can actually make glass lenses. There, there aren't so many of them. Just going to give that a quick dry before I go mad. Mistletoe and wine. This is only so many words. Yeah. You made me candy flush it, Anne. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've, um, everything's overtaken me. I just yeah, I bet. No chance yet. <laughs> I'd forgotten all about it. It's been utter chaos. Mm. I will do before Christmas, though, I promise. I was so excited and then... <laughs> oh, God, I'll hand. let you off. <laughs> <laughs> I do love it, though. I'll, I'll bring it out when we're on electric. I'm just waiting to see if it works. <laughs> it really does look as good as it did on the advert. <laughs> I don't think it'd be quite as good as the fun fair. I uh, know, no. no. <laughs> a bit, it's a bit of fun. Oh yeah, it's wonderful. Thank you very much. Right then. Here we go. Terry's, what colour was it? Golden yellow or something. Oh gosh. Dave, you don't care, do you? No, I don't. Oof. It's too late. It's on there. Oh, that was not so bad. It's my phone. Oh two eight nine. Don't even know that is. That was one of my early recordings. <laughs> I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. I thought it was quite appropriate for a phone. I guess for it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> oh, yesterday, it might be some of my internet customers. Uh. Well. I redesigned 
one person's website because it's been so it's got so dated software wise that I couldn't I was struggling to update it anymore you know it was sort of falling over so I did it over the weekend and sent him a bill and I thought, oh, while I'm at it, I'll send everyone else's invoice for, because I always invoice for, um, you should send them out first of January with a deadline of 21st, which I, it's still the deadline was the same, not 21st, but it's obviously a bit earlier. So they were probably all screaming and shouting. I haven't got I haven't got two hundred quid this time of year. I'm not asking for it. I just sent the invoice out. But I thought I thought I'd be doing everyone a favour. It's my logic, the way my brain works. Yeah. At least they'll know what do, you know, not to spend too much Christmas because they've got to keep some back from me. <laughs> <laughs> or at least it gives, gives them a chance to budget. You know, plan their. Um, Oh. Yeah, good idea. It wasn't. I did get a. Hayden sent me a a text last night, and it just said, "Oh, thanks for. The, I'll ring you tomorrow. So, thanks for the present." <laughs> I thought, "Oh no, I think I might have." <laughs> it wasn't meant like that. It was only because. <laughs> So, and I didn't particularly need the money either. Well, never say never to do it to things like that. But in January, no, because at the bottom it says payment due twenty first of January, twenty twenty two. So the tax there's nothing. Man sends out letters like that. Pardon? The tax man sends out letters like that. Yeah. Yeah, I just got a bill from the tax man. Did you? And it says payment due by December, by January. Oh, that's tax return, isn't it? Yeah, personal doodah. Taking my money, yeah. <laughs> I, always do, I, I always do that in um, September. Oh, right. I do it in two payments. Oh, I, I, don't, I, I don't earn that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, meow. <laughs> I, don't, I don't earn that much. I don't. Oh, I didn't get one at all. <laughs> oh, right. There you go. <laughs> oh, some benefits to being poor. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. I've been doing, doing all the doing the art stuff now, and selling me pictures for a long time. So sort of going back Hello. ages, ages. And I've never made enough to pay tax. If I did that, I'd be really chuffed. I think I'd arrived. <laughs> I came close a few times, but the accountant helped me out there. But I've always done that. You know, there's no nothing dishonest. And I even when I was getting um, ESA and stuff like that, I used to send them the report and account as well. So there was no jiggery pokey pokery there either. And I used to have meetings, go in there and have meetings and sit there and they'd go through my books and that. And people used to say, oh, you're diddling the system. And I wasn't. No. I, um, it was about, ooh. Probably 2000, 2001, and some nice person, I don't, I don't know who it was, and I don't particularly care, um, must have thought, oh, he's diddling the system. So they reported me, they must have, because I had a bloke come around here, it's like saying, they used to send people around, you know, saying, you've done this, you're making money out of this and all the rest of it and, and, at, and I was doing the playing in the band at the time you know one gig a year or something like that 
And uh, people say you're making money out of music when you're on unemployment benefit and all this sort of stuff. Just made me laugh. The bloke comes around and I said, yeah, they are. And one of it was, there was a new, there was a, a thing on the, on the wall that on the kitchen wall saying thank you and we did a chat we were doing charity gigs just to build up a just so we get some rehearsal to you know some live music time and things like that and uh yeah there's some nasty people out there there are uh, and i remember um when i used to go to pine walk selling my art there Oh, is it? It was a, one of the neighbours. Every once a year or so, I used to come around and see what I was doing and things like that. But I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was trying to. I was trying to start a little business up so that I didn't have to get any money off of these people. Nobody wants to do it. Back in a minute. Back in a minute. Okay. Bye. 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 Rub your minute. Make sure you laugh there. It's coming out all right now. Oh, Rob. All right, Rob. <laughs> Nothing happens until you put his eye in anyway, does it? Well, it's always been my, my experience of it. Watch you. It's quite a large, I've done a, quite a large drawing here, Chris. Mm. I can tell. It's um, full on A3. I think it was that bit of paper, that flipping paper. I just wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> It's a portrait, isn't it? Pet portrait. Mm. I don't know. I was going to leave a white bit of white paper for his eye, but I'm, now I'm thinking about it. Oh. I, it's such good fun. Deciding where to put the white spot with the, with the white. Um, With a bit of white blob of white paint that you quite you never know how angry he's going to be. Mm -hmm. Does that do? Get that dry. A little weak wash on the top beak. Somewhere. Oh, ah, the way that brush went. You see that? Got like a little fan chisel shape mm. on it. Mm. Clever. I like that. Just add a bit of detail here now. This will tell them why. Well, as I say, this is definitely going to have. Oh, wow. Oh, what's the name? I'm going to use some pencils on it. When it's dry, just to flick in some feather feathery bits. Could be an early lunch, Chris. <laughs> right, we've just delivered our Christmas present. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> well, Margaret's coming round in a minute to drop one off, so I said, "Oh, we might as well put hers on the door." Um, yeah. Good thinking. You should get a card from me and a f sometime this year. Yeah. Well, I waited eight days to get the stamps. And I posted it yesterday. So if it takes eight days to get the stamps, how long to post? How long does it get delivered? Oh, a month. Oh, cheer me up, why don't you? Yeah. I think, I think yesterday was the last day for posting, wasn't it? Or was it? What? <laughs> Oh, don't tell me now. Oh, oh well, don't hold your breath then, girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I don't um, I don't do a lot of Christmas cards, so I'm not sure. I sent you one. I found out where you lived, didn't I? Ah, yeah. That was it. wasn't by. It wasn't a ploy. Just by. Just one of those things. <laughs> yeah. Well, I always knew where you lived, roughly. Anyway. Well, I've no I... idea where you live or your address is, so you're not getting one. Mind you, as I just said, I don't send Christmas cards. As a rule. I'm in cognito. I am. You are. I live in Asgard. I see. Asgard. That's what um. The bloke on the YouTube channel that I support, he does called Auditing Audit in Britain. Mm. And he he goes around with his video camera and he you know goes around police stations and public civic oh, offices and films them. <laughs> and he got arrested yet? <laughs> yeah, once twice. But it's not illegal anyway to film it. And that's the point. And what he does, he audits, he's called auditing because he audits the, the way the police treat people and the public and that. Mm. Um, and it's absolutely, what he can, what he's, what he, it's absolutely disgraceful. They're a sort of, they think they're a law under themselves and they make them, they, um, They, what's the word? They don't make the law up. They abuse Section Forty Three. Is the famous one, which is terrorism. Act, terrorism Act. We're all bloody terrorists. You know that, don't you? Mm. They use that all the time to stop and to search you, and it's totally illegally used, abused. And, and the beauty of it, what it is, these there's, he's not the only guy doing it, but there are. Um, solicitors in the country with that do no whim no fee that specialized in police abusing their you know using their authority wrongful search wrongful arrest all this sort of stuff so these people are making money quite a lot of money well whatever they get for suing the police for all this wrong for arrest now. First off, I thought, God, oh, well, just don't do it. But as it go on, as it goes on, you think actually they've got some points here that you know they'll just come out and push you around, and they're not allowed to. Some some occasionally, and quite more often than not, it all ends up amicably anyway. And some of the police know the rules. And that it isn't illegal to film anyone anywhere, as it happens. As long as you're not trespassing, you can film what you like. And they sort of say, what are you doing? What's going on? Oh, what you want, mate? How's it going? It's, it's quite, quite nice. But some of them are real abusers. Absolutely terrible. Look, I don't know how much longer I'm going to... Be able to continue with this. Watch that blob on the bottom of his red breast. Just there, isn't it? Did yeah. you notice it? Well done. Oh, Just yeah. needs a, a little bit of um a little bit of tissue. It's that paper, it's not drying, see. And every time I try to soften some it down, as you can see it, it I've just oh. it, it has it has blended, but if I go near it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, what have I used uh, you know talk about abuse this paper is abusing me <laughs> it's quite good fun really because it's um, well interesting because the because the paint isn't actually drying by absorption like it normally does you get <laughs> it's one of those things you get a lot of extra time to tease it around I'll have to watch that a bit and there's um what i want to do is get a nice um 
what's that colour? Sort of a shadow tone. I just made a mistake there. Okay. Put some blue in it. I want it to be a light purpley colour, don't I? What do you reckon a bit of burnt sienna in amongst that? Would that spoil it? You're supposed to know these things. Well, I kind of do, otherwise I wouldn't have thought of it. <laughs> just to tone it down a bit. It's, a, it's just burnt sienna. It's just red, isn't it? But a very earthy, light red. I don't know. I just want to put some bits on here and there. This will tell him when. Works as a nice sort of shadow colour. This will tell him <laughs> Oh, there, like a coiled spring. Find a bit of shadow colour. Add a bit of shadow to the orangey colour. That'll do it. Give him a forehead and also an eyelash. I've got a line there, so I'm just going to use them. Careful with that. Yeah, I know. Might need to add another line. He's got a frown, hasn't he? He has now. <laughs> Definitely a rocking robin. Well, as I said, not that I repeat myself much, but definitely going you know, to, yeah, watercolour technique, line of colour, and then some clean water underneath and let it, let it flow. A bit more line of colour. Don't want that. I'll look it up in a minute. What that red was. Uh, what that yellow is. Good colour. Clean water. Just let it spread. The trouble is, it doesn't spread. <laughs> it just sits. It just sits there. There's also a hint of a line there, which is his other eye. Can't quite. You can't actually see it, but it is there. A sort of hint of it. I think I need to put some more colour over there where I blobbed it. Mistletoe and wine. Definitely part of the wren sort of yeah, wren fat. I don't think they are a wren family. When this is dry, I've got some more of that. Um, still got a bit of that powder stuff left. And then I can just put it on there where the legs are because it's sort of not right. Now, the next. Hmm, what's going to do? It's more me white. Mistletoe and white. Everyone's singing that tune by the end of the day. You're determined to make us. Spoil it. Well, I can only do so much to this bit because the, um, until the, things dry, what I was hoping to do was make, was um, get rid of all of it, make him, make him sit on something, but because of the nature of the beast, paper, I don't want to rub his legs off, <laughs> after working out, working hard on them feet. Right. If you've got um, acrylic, you can just sort of paint, paint, paint on it, paint around them. It's 
going to be a bit difficult for me to do that. Cool. I've got through some tissue. Good stuff, this um, pastel, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting. You never know what, what you're going to get. Thought about it. Thought about it some more. Yeah. When it's, I think when they're dry, when it's dried later, probably might get away with it. Just um, blur that out a bit. What was supposed to be fun is turning into something a bit more. Well, I often think that was I'm painting. I think, God, you know, just wanted something nice and loose and put fancy and free, and it ends up being a, a sort of a in-depth um i used to say masterpiece but i've grown out of that <laughs> no a full-blown painting when i just wanted it to be something not a full blown you know something simple but i'm quite pleased with this actually. i soon know how long i've been doing it i haven't spent that much time doing it Definitely taking shape. I'm not worried about this bit over here. Fuzz it. Shall I? I will. Go. There you go. Now he's sat on a corner of a thing, isn't he? Put some bird seed on him. You look like he's on a table. Yeah. Bird table. Yeah. A few bits of bird seed on yeah. him. Yeah, when like it's on a wooden table. See, we're on the same page, Chrissy. We're on the same page. It makes a change. <laughs> it's just the way it's developed. It, all yeah. pictures are a bit like that. Well, this sort of one now. Tidy it up. Like I said later, I'll, I'll go over it with some. When it's dry, come on, blimey, that's got a bit of depth, is not it? Well done. I'll go over it with some watercolour pencils just to tidy a few bits up. And add a pencil in a bit of shadow area where I'm working now as well. A bit more lifting off. Just use the brush to lift it off. I wonder who that was on the phone. I hope it wasn't Carol. No dear. Didn't somebody say last week they wouldn't be here? Was that Carol? I think it might have been actually. Yeah, I think uh, I can't remember. It was, I don't. Somebody said they weren't going to be here this week, and they were saying Merry Christmas. I think it might have been Carol. Oh, it might have been then. Yeah. Well, it sounded like her not to let you know. Yeah. Mistletoe and flipping wine. Pauline's gone off to Wimborne, wasn't it? Yeah. Gone to have coffee with friends. Mm. Watch out for that bloody virus stuff, isn't it? Mm. Bit more or less? Another 
dot there. Mm, not too much more. It's not too bad. I think we'll leave it. I can always you can always come back, but mm. it's not so easy to. Um, well, I don't know. You can just lift it, lift it out. I suppose. The thing I'm going to do, play with now is. Maybe just kind of tighten up your nail. Yeah, it looks very good. Mm -hmm. It looks like a Dave Harvey Robin. It does. He looks very cheeky. Like a Dave Harvey. No, not me. I'm, I'm fine. Da, da, da. Could do with a bit more. Letting down that side of because he's turning at that angle, isn't he? A bit more burnt umber. Find it. Gonna have to um, tighten my palette up at some point. This is usually is tradition, isn't it? Over well, one of the things you do over the Christmas period is sort of. Tidy up all your bits. Start it brush. Yeah. Yeah. All your art brushes and wash it. I've got that um, cleaning stuff here that I use. American, isn't it? Which spoils it a bit. But... I think my. My youngest son should be around soon as well. He's living at, he's in London, so I think he said twenty uh, second. I think he was because he's um he works his boss is sort of one of these billionaire people, so they go off a bit like the Queen. Well, actually, she's not going this year. Sat to Norfolk and Sandringham and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when they go there, then Dave and Meg can have a, that's when they don't go with them to that house in the country. So they just sort of get the time to themselves. Then. I have to ask him about Brian May because um, he's friends with him. He's, he was in the paper there. He's got COVID, hasn't he? Yeah, he was, he's gone down with it. But yeah. Hardly surprised in London, they don't seem to... It's the root of all these things, isn't it? Oh. It's just so many people straight off the airplanes. Very close to the Well, it's straight into the... Into the, they feed straight off the plane, straight into the street. Yeah. Straight into the community. Yeah. And half of them were jabbed. That's what um, the mayor was saying, wasn't it? That he's called this sort of incident. The what? Sorry. He's called a, a what they call it an emergency, you know. A, oh yes, yes, he did. Yes, special um, something or another. Yeah, sort of a war zone, really, isn't it? And. Uh, that's what he was saying, that the vast, vast majority of people in the hospital were unvaccinated. Yeah. And then you go on the bit of the news channel and they're reporting bloody anti-vax rallies, anti-lockdown rallies over the weekends. They sort of come out Saturdays and Sundays from somewhere. I think... It's a crazy uh, it's beyond me all that stuff no they think we're being no is it Jeremy Corbyn's brother in it who thinks we're being um they're all you know fascistized <laughs> oh dear well that sort of contradicts them so he got arrested didn't he for telling people to go and set fire to MPs houses and that <laughs> yeah, that's not very good. 
Mm. He was on camera and he said, oops, I don't think I should have said that. Are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> well, but the funny thing is, if they were they were losing their freedom that much they wouldn't be able to do that they wouldn't be able to say that no. <laughs> so it's sort of not true is it no. if it was it can't be true otherwise you wouldn't be able to say what you're actually saying yeah <laughs> yeah you're right if, it, if the society was that well controlled you wouldn't be able to mention say those things and well yeah. and if your name's like that but what you mustn't do is just get him. I'm going to let that dry. Um, what you mustn't do is call someone an idiot. Otherwise, they take you to court and they get for ten thousand quid fine, uh, award or whatever it was. James was my son. James was on about it last night. Yeah, yeah. So, the thing is, what's the test for it? Were you right or were you wrong? Perhaps they were idiots. Rachel Riley, that was it, wasn't it? Oh, of course, yes, it was, wasn't it? Something to do with her, her math. It's the, it's the woman off Countdown. Yeah. Well, hope for me, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the... Well, that was about that. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, Often surprised, but at some point I'm going to have to add a few doodles on his feet. But I will tighten them up over the coming days. But this paper is well, I just I don't know what's on it. It's beyond me. Never known anything like it. As it dries, you can sort of see some shadows. They only live for 13 months, Robins, you know that? No. Yeah, their lifespan's about 13 months. Oh. Yeah, everyone I said that to, so I go, oh, what? Because you think, because we all get them in the garden, you think, oh, he's back, he's back, and he ain't. <laughs> he's, one <laughs> of his, he's one of his brethren. Yeah, so that's a my disappointing story of today. Yeah, you've upset me now. I'm going to oh, I hope your friend with pneumonia is all right because I had that. Yeah, ain't bloody funny that. Oh, I know, I've had it as well. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. I hope so. I hope they're all. Thank you, Dave. There you go, Christmas Robin. 19, what, 19, 20, 20, 2021. That's because I mentioned 1999 earlier. He's very cute. Well, he isn't quite finished, but he's at that stage where he's rearing to, yeah, just needs to fit doody what's it when it's these painted I've, I've noticed it more and more as the weeks have gone on um especially when doing those portraits and i, I was saying leave it for 48 hours free for a week if you like and then go back with the brush and soften and smooth things out and it does work mm. i've sort of <clears throat> taken that on board and i'm doing it all the time now I've got little bits of that stuff still floating around. But I, what I'll do is I'll mask out his, put a bit of masking fluid over his legs. Or perhaps a bit of tape, actually. A bit of paper. Just, just put bits of paper on. Sort of there. And then the tissues. A little bit of tissue over Over there, I've got one of my little dib dab things. I can just gently dip dab some more colour back in. Let's nick it off of there. Should be able to do it. 
I probably was afraid all the <laughs> I checked all the colour out, didn't I? So I have to scrape some more with my little knife. Just scrape a few bits on and then spray it. It's a bit green. Really yellow, I think. Yellow. A little spray. There we go. Are you do as Rodney. Just to activate it. Tissue. It'll tidy those little areas up. Make them make it pop out a bit more. So I've got that to do, and I've kept that. That well, it's blown over on the floor. That piece of paper that I had that will cover the bird then I can spray a lot of it. I think it look really attractive then. Give it a bit more depth. Mm. Yeah. That little Christmas tree is very distracting. Is anybody else? Is that this here you mean? Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 you're seeing it from a bigger scale than I am, so a bigger picture. But I think that area would benefit from a little bit of. You know, I'll just put a bit of tissue over the bird. That's the Christmas tree nebula, <laughs> and the constellation of. <laughs> Lovely colour. See what happens there. A bit green, perhaps. I can still see it. <laughs> yeah, well, that. <laughs> that's you all over. <laughs> Worse than me. I, it's, it's, well, you can see something, you can't unsee it, can you? I know. That's exactly, yeah. Unless it's a figure or a face in the, in the curtains. <laughs> they disappear from one day to the next. You think, well, yeah, that was there last night. And then you've got to spend a whole sort of period. Oh, God. No, you've done it. <laughs> I'll, put it, I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah, it's a slide. When it's dry, I'm going to put a Chris. I'm going to turn that into a Christmas bauble. <laughs> yeah, I love that. would be fine. Ooh. Let's uh, just get some. I didn't put a lot of water on that. Thing. It's living art. It's just it's um, evolving as I uh, as the minutes go by. As it's drying out, it's changing as well. Flipping heck, I just looked at it on the screen. Don't know if it's different. Yeah, that's a zoom. We don't really know what the problem is. It changes though. Ooh. Totally different, isn't it? Cheers. Camera can change the tone. Well, yeah. it's, not my, it's not my finest hour, but I'll, 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 it will be. I'll work on it, turn it into something a little bit better. Oh, excuse me. Cheeky little chat. Oh, He's like very cute. Yeah, he is cute. Oh, it's so good. It was a good. Ex good ex good way of getting rid of all that 
um, what's it called? Pastel. pastel. Yeah, getting rid of all that pastel in there. <laughs> so that that yeah, I'll, I got please. I think um, it's distorted because it's such a long picture as well. So it doesn't look quite as. It's like it's got fur on. It's got. It's like it's got a beetle wig on. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a beetle haircut. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking forward to it's only a bit of fun. I want to see what you are what you do next. Oh no. <laughs> I think I think um Chrissy, you should challenge yourself and use a big brush, a half inch or an inch, three quarter inch flat brush or something. Do the whole <laughs> brush. Sorry. That way. You won't put any fine detail in. It will just be mm. you know, and, and the tones, and it'll work really well. I think. I shall see. So, told you we'd have an early lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, the Christmas tree looks more like a Christmas tree than ever now. It's green. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think the, pro the problem is, uh, well, one thing I, there is underneath there, there's, there, there's a branch going behind him, mm. which has got the mask being fluid on. If I, I'm not going to do it now because it's too, <laughs> it'll, it'll ruin the whole thing. But when it's dry, bone dry, yeah. I'll um, scrape that off and then it, it'll have a branch going behind him, which will separate. The, um, oh yeah, I can see where it is. It'll push him back, mm. so I push the background back a bit. So yeah, but that's okay. There's loads of things we can add and take away from it as the days go by. Mm. I'm still I'm uh, looking forward to the end result. Ah, uh, it's not far off it. I was looking at my Christchurch Priory Winter one as well and it, uh, I'm still not convinced I finished that mm. I think I might put some headstones a couple of headstones in and a load more people in yet yeah. tell it even more story I was thinking I might actually look at your um your one with your headstones and sort of pinch a bit steal a few headstones off of you <laughs> well then mine will look empty <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I've got, you know, I'm quite. We've got some good. We've got some good subjects coming up. I know that. Yeah. Oh, Basically. I like that. I don't know if it was ringing me up. You get a lot of phone calls from London, don't you? These, um, or I do. I, have to, I don't know anyone in London. Who are you ringing me? Apart from your son. Yeah, but it comes up. I've got it. It comes up. David um, comes yeah. up with his name. He don't talk to me that often anyway. I get the odd. Um, oh, I couldn't get the dog. Oh, I, yes. knew something. Well, I knew there was a reason I was doing this. Yeah, go and get the dog. <laughs> I think my dog's got dementia. Oh. Ralphie. Ralphie. Then not last night, the night before, he was on my bed and he was wandering around. He got under the blankets and he's wandering around under the blankets yeah. to such an extent that I was frightened he was going to fall off the bed because he didn't know where he was going. So I pulled him out. Then he got under the spare pillow and was walking around on top of the bed with a pillow on his back. 
Then he went down, he got off the bed, went downstairs, and I could hear him click, click, clicking on the floor downstairs. And then he came straight back up, back up the steps, which he never uses at home because he always waits for me to lift him on the bed. Yeah. So he gets back on the bed again, and he goes through the whole process again. Really? Anyway, I finally, finally got to sleep. In the morning, I was having a shower, and um, oh, there he is. <laughs> I turned round, and Rafi was in shower? the shower under the stool. <gasps> Look! <laughs> oh, he's grown. <laughs> no, he's not huge. Oh. He's grown big. He has. What are you feeding on? Oh, Hello, he... Fido. Hello. Hello. <laughs> He is beautiful. He's a, he's he doesn't want to be a dear. Oh, what's the matter with you? Oh, look, it's just camera shy. He's, <laughs> he's, got his neck, he's got his face in my cheek. He's, he's just seen us. <laughs> what's the matter? He knows Yeah, it's very, very soft and fluffy. I can't believe this. <laughs> nearly as big as his mum. There's people in there. He's yeah. got wet, wet chops. All that, all that stuff at the bottom. All that, all these, yeah, all these bits around here. They're all, they're all so soaking wet. Uh -oh. <laughs> don't feed them the bowl. Yeah. Because if you did, you know, if you cook like a breakfast, but yeah, you know, it'll stink, <laughs> whatever it is, but he's, oh, what's the name of you? <coughs> oh, he's lovely. <laughs> yeah, don't be fooled by this. He's a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? There's people with heads. There's yeah. No, they've got no, where are they? There's no body. <laughs> Yeah. What's he having for Christmas? Uh, a little friend. Oh, I, this is favourite. This is brush. Oh, I say. <laughs> brush. <laughs> no expense spare, spared. <laughs> no, we've done loads of that. You buy them all the expensive toys and then they spend more time with the box and, yeah. and then the twig that they pick up from the or a leaf from the garden, they spend all day playing with that. Yeah. And the box of toys just sits there. I think <laughs> it, this one's really great because it's we've got um, um, laminate flooring all the way through downstairs. And if I throw it, I can. it's like a game of curling. I can slide it from one end of the house to the other and it goes round. Great <laughs> I do that a lot. Well, just... okay. I'm great. I'm your friend, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's been nice. As he knows, 12 o'clock, Dave comes down, makes his lunch, and sometimes a little bit of cheese will accidentally fall off the table on the floor where I'm sat. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> or was it? Or crab, he loves crab. Yeah. Get fresh dressed, fresh dressed crab. Put a dollar for that on a spoon. He's happy, puppy. <laughs> you don't get that many, but there's no much in between meal stuff. He doesn't get. He's not. <laughs> I think the routine is when I have my dinner at night. I'll. I'll put a summit to one side for him. When I finished, I'll get up and run in his basket and I'll just give him, last night it'd be a piece of fish finger that's sort of size of the top of my thumbnail, you know. I'm pretty conscious of not making him over, overweight. Right? Mm -hmm. Now he says, lunch. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> Hey, gorgeous. Right now. Yeah. Let's say happy Christmas. Waffle, waffle. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> we all we sorted, we all want one now. <laughs> they are they are quite attractive, aren't they? Quite sort of oh, oh, yeah. right, give me one of them. Yeah, they're lovely. Mm. <laughs> A lot of work to keep them nice and brushed. Okay. Well that's where well, this comes in handy, really. Yeah. Because when yeah. he's got you can brush it. That's not very good though. We've got one of those metal wiry ones that doesn't yeah. really good. But yeah. it's not an easy task. <laughs> Is it? Usually sort of toy in one hand that he's got in his mouth while you brush with the other sort of Yeah. James does it. James does it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it? Something made a noise then. Mm -hmm. I use those um, those rubber grooming mitts. They're like a rubber glove with like, you know, a sort of rich surface on the palm and you just stroke them all the time and you're grooming them at the same time. Yeah. Ralphie's uh, yeah. quite fond of that. 